Welcome back to KSN News at 4. The Cosmosphere in Hutchinson has been inspiring children and adults for 60 years. The Space Museum recently added a new way to reach students across Kansas, and today they had an out of this world visitor. KSN's Jason Land joining us now with that story. Jason. Yeah, hey there. Uh, the Launch and Learning Program delivers the excitement of space exploration to classrooms across the state. It engages students with hands-on activities and experiments through videos and live streaming, and every once in a while they learn about space from real-life astronauts. Cool, huh? Dan Tani has accomplished some pretty cool things, like walking among the stars. There's something magic about space. I'm so happy that it's part of my life because uh, you don't have to really convince people that hard to talk about space and imagine what it's like to be in space. The former astronaut recorded over a dozen videos for the Cosmosphere's online launch learning program. And then we have four stars in the middle signifying us, the four uh, shuttle crew members. Tani flew on three space shuttle missions. He also spent 120 days on the International Space Station, serving as flight engineer, and logging over 34 hours during six spacewalks. I left NASA about mm, 10 years ago, and I've done a few things uh, since then, including teaching high school for a while. Uh, but now I work in industry. I work for a, a space contractor, and we're building uh, uh, space station parts and, uh, and planning to figure out how to put people uh, on the surface of the moon. You can see the window that I can look at. Tani's new mission, to inspire the next generation of explorers like these students from Hutch, Wichita, Salina, and Tawanda. I think we astronauts feel that, you know, we, had, we got the privilege of going into space. And so I think most of us believe it's our job, it's our responsibility to bring that experience back to uh, tell people what it's like. And so uh, I'm, I'm happy to talk about uh, what life is like uh, in uh, low Earth orbit or in space, because these are kids that I hope are gonna go to space in their lives, either as tourists, Maybe as astronauts, maybe as explorers. Tani has big expectations for America's youth. We need uh, smarter and smarter people. We need uh, explorers. To, we need to develop uh, that kind of mindset uh, because, you know, we astronauts now, we want humanity to go to the moon, to Mars. The retired astronaut says this is an exciting time for space exploration. We are on the cusp of building the rockets that are going to take the next uh, people back to the moon and we are designing the missions that are going to go further uh, to Mars, to an asteroid. Uh, I'm really excited. It, I think we are at a real turning point in space where uh, it's accessible to almost everybody because these, these satellites are being made by high school students uh, and are flying in space. That's amazing. Uh, but we're also building the big rockets to go to the moon and to Mars. Now, Tani was scheduled to help students launch an experimental balloon this morning, but of course those plans were scratched due to the, to the bad weather. His videos will be available in the launch learning section of the Cosmosphere's website. And Tani's also an avid golfer who has played a few rounds of Prairie Dunes during previous visits to Hutch. Did you ask him if he played any when he was in orbit? I did not. <laughs> be an interesting answer to that. We talked about a lot of other things he did up there. Okay, thank you, Jason.